Hi, my name is Rebecca Slough and I'm with Organizational Learning and Talent Development. You may have recently enrolled or have been confirmed for an OLTD live online virtual class. The online learning experience is a bit different from our in-person classroom learning. So just like our in-person training, we wanted to go over a few important housekeeping and etiquette practices with you. After selections are made, you'll receive a couple of emails regarding any pre-work or handouts that you're going to need to review, as well as an Outlook calendar invite that's going to include a link to the virtual class. I'm going to encourage you to review all your notifications and making sure that you're aware of things of like what pre-work do you need to make sure you have done before the class, as well as making sure that the camera is turned on and that the sound is working appropriately. I'd suggest testing these things out as soon as you receive the notifications. If you need help with any of this, please reach out to your department's IT support person or the county's IT service desk for assistance. Unlike most of our in-person training where we spend a lot of time going over the content within the class, you might actually be receiving some pre-work that you're going to be expected to complete and be prepared to discuss at the training. You're going to want to make sure that you're fully prepared for the workshop by doing all the pre-class work ahead of time. Your understanding of the content and the ability to participate are what the class is going to be depending upon. Have you ever heard the phrase, if you're early, you're on time, and if you're on time, you're late? Well, this time it's going to be really important that you're actually early. You're going to want to join our classes for virtual training at least 10 to 15 minutes before the class is scheduled to begin. This is going to give you an opportunity to make sure that your camera and voice capabilities are working well, as well as this is going to give you a great opportunity to network with other county employees before the class begins. You're going to want to make sure that your cell phones are turned to silent or off. You're going to also want to make sure that you close all of your applications, for example, like Outlook and Microsoft Office, so that you're not distracted during the training. Try to reduce as many distractions as you can so that you can focus on the content as well as be a part of the discussions. It's important to respect each other as well as the trainer during the class. We're going to encourage you to keep your microphone muted until the facilitator either asks for a response or when you have a question. This is also going to help to reduce any background noise as well as prevent any feedback that's going to be coming through your computer microphone. Just like our in-person training, a workshop can only be as successful if it is a two-way process and everyone participates fully. You are your own best resource. Much of the content is going to be coming from you. Each one of you brings a wealth of experience to our training. One other thing you're not gonna wanna forget is to making sure you unmute yourself when you're either responding or asking a question. We hope that we have prepared you with a wealth of information on any OLTD live online classes. You know, people are learning in different ways right now, and there's even more of a shift to learning remotely. There's a lot of great things that can come from opportunities like this. For example, trying new technologies, and also being able to join training and not even leaving your office or your home. And lastly, being able to take classes in a condensed version while you're still being able to network with others. You know, as learning expert Elliot Massey has said, we need to bring learning to people instead of people to learning. As a reminder, if you have any questions regarding classes, please contact us in OLTD. And for any technology questions, you can reach out to your department's technology support person or the IT service desk for assistance. We look forward to seeing you in all OLTD live online classes.